What's going on everybody? Rico here from Legitimacy and today is a really good day. Skull Rain has just been released and they given us the map Favela. So today we're going to be showing you Valkyrie camera placements on the map Favela for defending bomb. Starting off we're going to choose the third floor packaging room and the second floor meth lab. Be an interesting choice it's on the top okay starting off in B room if you go to the stairs look up at the light you want to throw it and land it onto the light by doing that the light kind of cancels anybody from seeing it especially when it's turned on but it still gives you a good view of the window and the stairs if anybody is pushing up LGT wizard is here to help demonstrate that As you see as it pushes up, we have full view of him. He's not going to be focused on the camera. Next position, inside of the B bomb room, underneath the storage rack, you're going to want to throw it on the middle metal piler, pil pillar, piling, whatever you want to call it. And that's going to give you a good view. As Wizard walks through, you'll be able to see of the entire bomb site. So the reason you want this in there is because if they decide to push in the room, or let's say they do take control of that room, they're not going to plant it in front of the door or the main area. They're going to plant it somewhere in the back. That way they can use the center area as cover. So the next bomb site we're going to be showing you is, or the camera site, is going to be at A. You're going to throw it right above the sink. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a good view of the back side of this bomb because the next camera you're going to see is going to show you the front side of the bomb. So as Wizard demonstrates, you'll be able to see him as soon as he turns that corner. If you wanted to plant in the back, you would definitely see him. So the next bomb camera location is going to be inside of the grow room. You're going to throw it in one of the grow lights, the one closest to the door that can see all the way down the hall into the bomb site. So as he demonstrates, you'll be able to see how that can benefit your team as they push in. You'll have full view of them if they're trying to push in. So that's it for that bomb. Now the next bomb site is on the second floor. It's going to be the football bedroom and the football office. Both of them on the second floor right next to each other. So the first one you're going to want to place is going to be right behind the couch at a bomb on the floor and that's going to allow you to see underneath the couch legs in case they try to come through the door but definitely have eyes on no matter where they go in that room you'll see if they're trying to plant the bomb so it's going to help you out a lot next camera location we have is going to be inside the b bomb room Advised. Right where the that bomb. bookshelf is, next to the soccer ball on the bottom, you're going to want to lay down and throw it into the corner. What that does is it makes it to where if anybody's standing, unless they're on the opposite side of the room, it's very hard to see that camera. So you'll be able to see them as they walk around, as Wizard will demonstrate. Gives you a full view of the entire room no matter where they go to plant. If they go to plant on the back side, you've definitely have seen them already, so you can pop in on them and take them out. So it's very helpful. Next camera location that we have is going to be towards the next bomb site you'll be seeing. It's going to be in the second floor aunt's hall is what they call it. It's like the aunt's hall. And it's going to be on one of the lights. And what you want to be able to see is down the hall towards your bombs. And you also want to be able to see the stairs in case they push from this side of the map. So as you can see, you can see all the way down. Giving you a good view of the stairs if they go to push down the stairs. Or if they decide to come through the bottom floor stairs. You'll definitely see them as they're moving through the hall. So it's definitely a good spot to have. We'll go ahead and have him demonstrate coming down the stairs. You'll be able to see everything that you can see. There he is. Great eyes, great view, camera's basically invisible, so it's going to help out your team 
significantly in this position and you can use it at any one of the lights that you see around the map so it's definitely a great position to have one at next spot we have for you is going to be right in the football area right outside the bomb locations you're going to want to throw it up right on those flags and what it does is it splits to where you can see half one way half the other and it lets you see almost the entire room while still being blocked for the most part by the flag wizard will demonstrate the camera angle of anybody that tries to walk through so you can definitely see as they're moving around that you'll have a great view on them even if they move into the bomb sites okay next position that we have is going to be the bomb site at the ants bedroom so inside of ants hall same thing that we used before you're going to want to throw the camera onto the spotlight that's coming down from the roof and what that's going to do is it's going to give you a great angle on the stairs without them being able to see it so it's definitely going to get you to jump on anybody that tries anything so we're going to have wizard demonstrate somebody moving in we're going to have him move down really helpful it's a great position a on the bomb rooms so the next spot we have for you so you have a bomb with a wall right there that a lot of people are going to want to push through because it's a great advantage point so what you want to do is you want to come up to this tv in the corner destroy the desk and throw the camera right at the corner of the tv so the flashing lights from the tv are going to throw people off when they're looking for your camera but if anybody pushes into this side you're going to be able to see them if they're planting a charge or whatever they're doing it's definitely going to help you out so it's a good position to have your camera at and it's very helpful for when your team's defending the bomb the next spot that you're going to have is on the first floor and it's going to be underneath this weird corner desk right above the candle you're going to want to throw it on the left side of it so that way you can see the most of the room it's very hidden in there but you can see most of the room if they're planning and the next camera is going to help for all the positions that you don't see with this position. So we'll go ahead and have Wizard demonstrate. As he comes in, you'll be able to see him anywhere in that room, whether he goes in the back corner to plant the bomb. Or if he decides to not plant there or try to clear through the kitchen. So the next camera location that we'll have is in the same position as the upstairs spotlight hanging from the roof but this one's in the kitchen so it's going to give you a great view of the entire kitchen slash living room as they move in through any door that the other cameras can't see this one will so as you can see if he moves behind the bomb back to the corner over there if he plants there it's going to work out perfectly for him Maybe if he comes into the kitchen and plants, it's going to work out there as well. So this camera is very hidden, but it gives you such a great view. and Nobody knows it's there. Nobody expects it. So the last one we're going to be doing is the bomb site on the ground floor. It's on the first floor, and it's Gilbert's Garage. And it's going to be where the motorcycle rooms are. You want to throw the camera outside before the round finishes the preparation round. You want to go ahead and throw that. That's the last thing you want to do. And that's going to give you a great view outside if anybody tries to push any of the reinforced walls you have like thermite and you have somebody that's going to peek on them or if you want to bandit shuffle it's going to be a great help if they try to push through the door you'll definitely be able to see them before they hit it and get the jump on them so that's going to help out a lot or if they try to go to the other door on the other side and try and push through there that's going to help you as well because you have eyes on that so great camera position now the next one we have for you is going to be where he just recently went into and that's going to be in the arsonary room I believe and that camera position is kind of in a corner but the main position the main reason that that's positioned there is to watch as anybody pushes towards the wall to plant anything on it or if they decide, decide to push into the broken stone wall so as you can see he came in he's pushing he's looking around and it's going to give you a great view so the next position i'll show you is going to be located inside of this bookshelf in the corner you want to throw it up into the corner and that's going to give you a great eye on the rest of the room 
near the A-bomb, I believe. So, with that being said, I'll show you what that looks like with Wizard demonstrating. So, as he pushes through the door, you'll see that you could see him in the kitchen if he decides to plant. You could also see if he went anywhere else around there. So, it's a great position to have a camera at. And the last spot that I have for you today is going to be in the A, I'm sorry, B bomb room. And it's going to be underneath this green toolbox looking thing. So, right underneath that engine on top of the toolbox, green toolbox, you want to lay it in that corner. So, we'll go ahead and show you what that shows. And Wizard will demonstrate an entry from an attacker. So, it's got a great view on everything in the room. Wizard pushes in. So you can see no matter where he decides to plant this bomb at, you'll be able to see it. So it's very helpful when defending these bomb rooms where you don't actually have to put yourself in the room. It's a huge liability because they usually push those rooms. So definitely a great spot to have a camera at and it's going to help you with this new map. So thank you for watching. We will be bringing new videos of Favela as soon as we can. We're trying to upload as fast as we can, so keep watching. These are just some of the camera locations that we found that are very helpful inside of Casual Rank. So this is LGT Rico. I'll talk to you guys later.